Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Leonidas Hippo G and this time it's a time for a little demo appreciation and I'll be talking about Monarch. Now Monarch was a game that came out like a few months ago and I was always interested to look at it because I really like the art style. The art style to me was what grabbed me at first. Uh, you know, it's a Japanese anime looking like game and I said, oh, this might be interesting. I knew it has a little bit of a um, persona influence. I just didn't thought it was going to be this poorly executed sorry to say so the story is really simple you wake up in a school that is surrounded by this haunting mist nobody knows what it is or why, why it's there you have no memory of who you are and so you figure out who you are during the your gameplay and as as you're doing this you also destroy the fog now the first part of the game you just you know run around talking to people trying to figure out uh, you know giving a little bit of set pieces to you know to give you a little foundation about what the universe is. The problem is there's way too much exposition. Way too much. The characters repeat themselves. You repeat yourself. The situations are always just like the first one, this one that you see of sister or supposed sister. Then there's exactly the same sequence again. I mean, this game was on Steam. And on Steam you have this thing where you can play a game for two hours to figure out if you like it or not and maybe then return it or keep it. No I tell you, this it will felt like you I was playing here, for three hours just with text, just text today. If you today. play this for two hours, it, you won't get anywhere <laughs> in the game, and you might as well return it because it's hey, really good. the story is so so convoluted right from the get go. There's so much exposition thrown at you that I really didn't like it. At any turn, you get the the same thing. There's a fog. There's a haunting. We don't know what it is. Blah 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 blah, and all this all the time and I think this really overwhelms the power when you just want to play the game you just want to you know do what what do I do here so going around to the corners of the school you find out this small pillar of cell phones that it reveals a character that will help you this is a small rabbit I forget the name this is how bad the expedition was and it also give you the power to, to turn yourself now, the, the thing that I think is the gist of it, the, the thing that uh, stands out as unique in this game, is your personality. You do have a little test of personality at the beginning, and you do several tests of personality throughout the game with other students and teachers, and they will help you build your emotions, especially your, your sins or your emotions, per se. And this will give you uh, different abilities, different um, attacks, uh, different, uh, maybe different interactions with friends. So, yeah, I think this is a, a really nice touch, you know, because Persona, things are just, you know, static. There's, this is who you are, and this is who they are, and this is the enemy, and this is it. In this case, there's a little bit more fluidity here, which I enjoyed. I really enjoyed doing the little tests and the, talking to people about it. And it, they do have a little bit of influence on Your combat, but because of, this is a demo, this is really limited. I can really see a big effects, but it does have a little bit of effects. And I died it. The rest of it, I didn't. You know, I went up like three levels in the same building. They were all the same, but just classrooms with NPCs all, you know, dressed like a school, like a school students, and they all pretty much repeat the same thing. And just to get to the final level and to the boss, and you know, it felt just really, really boring. It felt boring doing the same thing four times in four different levels. Um, you do have to be aware that there is a mad meter, and if that mad meter goes up, the enemies will attack you, and you will end up facing a you know, uh, really, really high level, and it's like 130, and you're like a level 10. So they will instantly kill you, and the game will be over. And this happened to me at least once, so you need to be aware of that. That said, the game has, after you do, do all the dialogues and all the explanations, there's really, uh, there's, there's exploration, but it's very limited because it's just classrooms. They all look pretty much the same. I mean, they have little elements that are different, but they all pretty much look the same. The NPCs are, you know, very generic. The, the entire model, the, your own model, is not really that fleshed out. It looks like some, something out of PS2 or PS3 graphics. And when you transform, you no, you get just uh, just add-ons on yourself. You don't get like a, a different poster or a different um, lighting or something like that. No, it just it just it just feels like it, it they they had, they had a lot to you know plan to do. But when the, the actual delivery actually made the graphics and the the game run, this is all they do.
Um, fighting wise, it's it's fun. It works. Uh, you have to move around in a certain area and then do attacks, and then you have to for the enemy turn to do the same thing. So you have to calculate a little bit what attacks are you going to do. There are areas on some of the sets on some of the scenarios that can either you know do damage to you like gas or poison, or they can heal you. You can have to, you have to realize that if they heal you, they so also heal the enemy. You can try and bait the enemies into the poison positions, and some of them are really dumb and they will walk right into it. So that is you know it's it's a variant cover that you can use and it's interesting, but the game itself um, really not. I tried to do the specials because I think maybe maybe if you do the specials they'll be really cool. They're you know they're they're okay they're okay they do have a little bit of flash effect but they're not as you know spectacular as one would might think because you know this is a you can clearly see this is a low budget this is not a triple a and there was uh, maybe there wasn't enough time or enough uh, know-how to polish it properly That said, at the end, you do clear the first building behind the boss, which is introduced right at the beginning. And you know this guy is going to be the boss because it's just so obnoxious, so in your face, so cliche that, you know, when you fight him at the end, you go like, uh, why, why why, couldn't I fight this guy like an hour before or two hours before? If the demo was just compressed by fighting them at the first or at the last level, I would be much more enjoyable than that. Than just going for four levels, which is basically just four levels of the same thing to fight the boss. And if this this if this if is the recipe for the rest of the school that you will have to, you know, when you kill the boss, you clear the fog of that building. So if this is going to be repeated for all the buildings in the school, there's like six or eight buildings. I figure this is going to be really, really boring, really fast. I mean, it doesn't have enough oomph to it to attract players. You know, if it, if it, if, if the combat was really flashy and, and incredible, it might attract us. If the story was just, uh, you know, really fleshed out cutscenes without all the convoluted stuff in it, I might work a little bit but as is the game feels like an exercise in trying to be another persona but not quite and uh, the, the delivery of it was not the best that was not the best i, I found the, the, the demo to be really boring i really had to struggle full, through, through it most most of it I like half after I like 30 minutes of just hearing the same thing over and over again i was really struggling it but i want to get through it because I, I hadn't even do combat yet after 30 minutes almost an hour i haven't done any combat so I, I had to push through it and then i just run through the whole the levels just as fast as i could just trying to different options i wasn't even reading the options at the one point i was just you know clicking the first the second and third and seeing what works to you know get to the next level and after that i fought the boss the boss was really a real challenge because i had not done no modifications up to that part and on the boss I had to you know really go to the menus and see okay what does what how can i use this weapon or this uh, armor or this ability in the in circumstances and i you know i died a couple of times but then when i finished the boss i was it was gratifying but it was just such a long and boring experience that i don't think it works. I don't think it works. I think it was a nice effort, but it didn't work. That's just my opinion of it. We made it, Nozomi. Good job. You were amazing. If you enjoyed the video, or if you think the video is boring, you can just write it down in the comment section. But if you enjoyed the video, enjoy this snippet of Monarch, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a great game, guys.